The relationship between Nick Casario and D'Amico Ryans. Nick Casario described it earlier this morning is imperfect. That sounds perfect to me. Let's go inside the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey. Locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. Texas talk. Yeah, you know what we about to do. Localize every angle is what we really do. We the source. We the post of the city Let's too. Landlock. Got the game. Welcome to the locker lock. room, the number one source for Texans daily digital content. I'm Landry Locker. You can hear me Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 on Sports Radio 610 and the Odyssey app, which is where Nick Casario was this morning. He joined Sean Pendergast and Seth Payne. Talked about a lot of things, a lot of interesting things. And and the the tenure of Nick Casario has been interesting because obviously inherited a crap situation, an absolute insanely bad situation, uh, which got even worse uh, as Deshaun Watson not only had requested to be traded, uh, but he had all the off-field sexual allegations. He had limited resources, limited assets, uh, made some mistakes along the way, but the card he was dealt uh, was not great. Uh, two one-and-done coaches, um, which were kind of – a consequence of what he inherited. Uh, I don't necessarily uh, fault him for those never really have because uh, it got you to D'Amico Ryan's. Uh, but, but the, the tenure has been interesting and it had to be interesting for him um, working with the new guy in D'Amico Ryan's uh, a new head coach uh, and trying to uh, figure stuff out. And he spoke about, the dynamic between him and D'Amico Ryans um, and how their football backgrounds are extremely different and their relationship up to this point, uh, Nick Casario actually described as imperfect, which to me is actually perfect to hear. Here was Nick Casario uh, on Payne and Pendergast this morning talking about his relationship with D'Amico Ryans uh, and what it's been like. We've had a great working relationship for four months. Not everything is perfect. There's going to be some bumps in the road that we have to deal with, but he's so consistent day to day. His messaging is clear. The players understand what the expectation is on a day-to-day basis, and he has conviction in his beliefs of what he wants the team to look like, what we want the team to look like. We have a lot of conversations about everything, and it's a two-way street, and there's certain things that he has strengths that you know I don't have and vice versa. So The goal is anytime you have these types of situations is to be complimentary to one another and understand when to give the individual space, when you maybe need to insert yourself or make a comment. Candidly, I've loved being around him just for his consistency, for who he is on a day-to-day basis. I've learned a lot from him. All right, so they've learned a lot from each other, and I, I think that's important because you you got two unique backgrounds, two unique skill sets. Uh, D'Amico Ryan's has the the experience uh, of an NFL player as a captain. Nick Casario has the experience of being very, very close, as close as you could possibly be uh, to one of the best dynasties in the history of sports. And you can minimize it and say it was Tom Brady, but would Tom Brady have been Tom Brady without some of their philosophies? Now, where you get yourself in trouble when you come from that type of background and really any type of background in the NFL is if you're just stubbornly married to those philosophies. Sometimes it works out. Uh, And sometimes you're able to make it work, but more times than not, especially in today's NFL and especially coming from where Nick Casario comes from, if you try to implement the Patriot way and you do so stubbornly and you act like you have all the answers, more times than not, it just doesn't work out and it backfires. And that has to be uncomfortable for Nick Casario uh, to to try new things and to have to figure uh, stuff out. And, And when you're only two years plus into being a GM, you're naturally learning or hopefully you are. And hopefully you're uncomfortable. Uh, You should be uncomfortable when you're trying new things and you're trying to evolve. And Nick Casario bringing in D'Amico Ryans, who has his experience with Kyle Shanahan on top of that player experience. uh, It shouldn't be perfect. It it should be imperfect. We've, we've been here. And remember when Bill O'Brien and Brian Gang would say we're aligned. And then you would hear stories about them basically trying to fight each other uh, in the hallways. And you knew it wasn't, true and you would hear bill o'brien say yeah me and rick smith are great wasn't true 
So the authenticity for Nick Casario to say that, first of all, it makes 100% sense. Second of all, it's extremely encouraging. Uh, and, and third of all, that's the way it should be if you want this to work. Here's more from Nick Casario talking about what he's learning from D'Amico Ryans. You know, it's been fun learning the intricacies of the defense, how it's coached, what's the philosophy behind it. And then when you see that or you hear the explanation and then you see the application on the field and you see the players sort of buy into the philosophy of what we want to look like on defense, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, we have a lot of work in front of us. There's still a long way to go, but really enjoyed working with him. Can't say enough about him, who he is. Um, and the staff, I'd say, has done a great job of working with the players, putting a foundation in for the players to really – to this point, I think everybody's enjoyed just the opportunity to be around one another and work with one. And you want to learn about that defense? Casario's learning about the offense. You know, you talk about how busy of an offseason it's been for D'Amico Ryans. It's been busy for Nick Casario, too. I mean, Nick Casario is going through all the offseason stuff from the cut from the hiring to the draft to to learning as much as he can about an offense or a defense. And I wouldn't say that's a requirement of the job. I, I think it should be a requirement of the job, but there's probably a lot of general managers that don't know the offense and the defense front to back. Nick Casario wants to learn that. Hell, he talked about going and learning about artificial intelligence uh, during his break, which which doesn't sound like much of a break to me, but that's just the kind of guy Nick Casario is. He's a sponge. He likes to learn. He likes to consume information and He's learning about the defense. He's learning about the offense. Uh, and he's learning from D'Amico Ryans. And this is new to him, uh, but he seems excited by it. Uh, he seems to embrace not being comfortable. Um, and who knows where this ends up? Who knows if Nick Casario is here as long as D'Amico Ryans? But at this point, uh, when you hear him describing and being really transparent and honest, about the the state of the relationship, uh, you got to feel somewhat good about it. And, and you sprinkle it in to all the layers of the organization. And earlier this week, we heard from Cal and Hannah McNair. They talked about the lack of leaks. Uh, you heard from D'Amico Ryans talking about his on-field stuff. And you hear from Nick Casario. Those are three layers of an organization that you need to be good, uh, most likely in order to be an effective organization and a successful organization. So you hear from all these, all these groups and they seem to be meshing together, whether it's Cal and Hannah with Nick or it's Cal and Hannah with D'Amico or it's Nick with Cal and Hannah and Nick with D'Amico. Like they're, they're all, there seems to be what on the outside and you never know completely what's going on in the inside, but there seems to be this, the resemblance of a highly functioning organization. Here's more from Nick Casario on D'Amico Ryan's. I would say we're really not two disagreeable types of people. So it's really more watch, listen, and then if you have a question, what are we thinking on this? Can you explain this to me? And a lot of it is just what I'm trying to do is get an understanding of how we're playing so that when you're evaluating the players and you're evaluating the team, you kind of have a better understanding. So from that perspective, it's been kind of, you know, invigorating to kind of see that. I mean, football, good dialogue, good discussion, have a question, or if you see something, go to Meek, hey, what are we thinking on this? Okay, or Bobby, on this play, what are we thinking about? It's been good. So what I've tried to do is listen more than anything, but there's a, I love football, enjoy learning, enjoy the aspects that going into to understanding football, because then my role is to be able to take that information and hopefully disseminate that to our staff. So that's where that kind of synergistic approach where I kind of sit, be able to go both sides between understanding what we're doing on the football coaching side and then be able to take that information and relay it over to the scouting staff. So we all have a clear understanding of what we're trying to build. So it's kind of like delegating. You know, you want to you want to be hands on. You want to take on as much information as you can. Then you want to delegate. Uh, you want to be able to know what you're looking for uh, when you're Nick Casario. And I'm sure, you know, in the, in the old offensive scheme, you're looking for certain things in this scheme. Uh, you're looking for for different stuff. So it's it's fun to see. It's fun to it's fun to hear. It's fun to witness. What the hell does it mean on the field? Uh, there's a lot of other variables that are going to come into play on that. But it's it's good to to hear Nick Casario describe the relationship as imperfect because we've heard people say that relationships are perfect in the past uh, and it resulted in perhaps the worst um, time in franchise history uh, because it, it wasn't it wasn't genuine and um, it wasn't 
there wasn't any substance to it. So it was good to hear Nick Casario talk about that. Subscribe, like, ride along. It is the locker room. Uh, whether it's perfect, whether they're aligned or not, when it comes to this Texans stuff uh, and it comes to this Texans content, we are all in this together. Appreciate everyone for coming through. We in the locker room, Texas talk, yeah, you know what we about to do, localize every angle's what we really do.